Hi. When setting up Oracle Content and Experience Cloud with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you'll need to gather some information first. You'll need to make sure that you are part of the OCI Administrators Group. You'll need to find the correct region, storage user, and tenancy information, and you'll need to note the Oracle Cloud ID of the storage compartment being used. If this is the first time creating a Content and Experience Cloud instance, you'll also need to create the OCI Object Storage Compartment and use its OCID. To begin, log on to My Services with your existing account, or if you're a new user, use the information sent in your welcome email and change your password if prompted. On the My Services dashboard, click Users. Click Groups, and then OCI Administrators. Click Users to see a listing of group members. You must be a member of the OCI Administrators group to create an instance, so verify that you are listed. When creating a new instance, you'll need to know your region, the Cloud Account Administrator Oracle Cloud ID value, and your tenancy information. To get this information, find the Compute service on the My Services dashboard. If you don't see it, you may need to customize your dashboard to show the Compute service. Once you've found it, select Open Service Console from the Service menu. Select the data center closest to your company and note the name of your region. Next, open the side menu and click Identity, then Users, and look for a Cloud Account Administrator user. There may be several listed, so make sure the one you use has administrator privileges. Note the user's OCID value. You'll use this for your storage user OCID. Next, click Administration in the side menu, then Tenancy Details, and note the OCID value under Tenancy Information. Remember, you'll also need the OCID of the OCI object storage compartment being used. If this is the first time creating a Content and Experience Cloud instance, you'll need to create an OCI object storage compartment. If you've created one before, you can use the same compartment. Once you've gathered your region, storage user, and tenancy information, you need to get your storage compartment OCID. From the OCI console, open the side menu and click Identity, then Compartments. If you've previously created a Content and Experience Cloud instance and OCI Object Storage Compartment, you can use that compartment for the new instance and note that compartment OCID. Find the storage compartment you plan to use, click Show next to its OCID, and note the value. Do not use the default compartments, the root compartment of the tenancy or the managed compartment. The storage compartment must be one created specifically for Oracle Content and Experience Cloud. If this is the first time creating a Content and Experience Cloud instance, you'll need to create the OCI object storage compartment to use. To do so, click Create Compartment. Enter a name and description, then click Create Compartment. That's it! You'll need the OCID of the new compartment, so remember to click Show next to its OCID and note the value. When creating a new instance of Oracle Content and Experience Cloud, you need to generate a public and private encryption key pair using OpenSSL. If generating the keys on Windows, you'll need to download and install Git for Windows to run the OpenSSL commands. To generate a private key, open your OpenSSL command window and enter the commands listed in the Oracle Content and Experience Cloud Administrator documentation. This creates a private key file named OCI underscore API underscore key dot pem with no passphrase, readable only to you, and stores it in a subdirectory of your user directory named dot OCI. You'll upload this private key file when you create your instance. To generate a public key, continue entering the commands listed in the Oracle Content and Experience Cloud Administrator documentation. These commands create the key and display it in the OpenSSL window. Copy the full text of the public key. On the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console Identity page, click Users. Click the name of the admin storage user and click Add Public Key. Paste the full text of the public key and click Add. Once the public key is added, note the value of the key fingerprint. There may be several keys listed, so pay attention to the timestamp to make sure you've noted the fingerprint of the correct key.
Once you've gathered your region, storage user, and tenancy information, created your storage compartment, and generated your encryption key pair, it's time to create your instance. On the My Services dashboard, find and open Content and Experience and click Create Instance. Enter a name and optional description for the instance and specify the email address where you want status updates sent. Enter the information you gathered earlier. Note that the storage infrastructure region name is the same as the region. Add your private key file by clicking Browse, navigating to the .oci directory, and selecting the OCI API key.pem file and clicking Open. Once all required information is in place, click Next. Confirm the information is correct and click Create. That's it. You are notified the creation request is accepted while the service is being created. After a few minutes, refresh the page to verify creation is complete. Once complete, you can create groups, add users, and assign roles. Having an enterprise user group for each instance of Oracle Content and Experience Cloud allows you to easily add new users that will automatically have the proper roles for complete enterprise level tasks per instance. To create a group, click Users on your Oracle Cloud Services dashboard and click Identity Console. Select Groups from the side navigation and click Add. It's a good idea to reference the Oracle Content and Experience Cloud instance when naming the group. For example, if you have an instance for a company named Zalco, name the enterprise group Zalco CEC Enterprise Users. That way, if you have multiple instances requiring different roles for enterprise users, you can keep them organized. After you've named the group and added an optional description, click Finish. Once the group is created, you can move on to assigning roles to the group. After creating an enterprise user group for a specific content and experience cloud instance, you must assign the group four core roles to give the people in the group enterprise level access. Those four roles are CEC Content Administrator, CEC Enterprise User, CEC Repository Administrator, and CEC Sites Administrator. To do this, start on the Details page of the newly created group and click Applications in the side menu. Locate the application mapped to the instance, in this case CECS underscore Zalco CEC, and open it. Click Application Roles. One at a time, find each of the four core roles and select Assign Groups from the Role menu. Select the Zalco CEC Enterprise Users group and click Assign. After the four core roles are assigned, you're ready to add users to the group. After creating a group and assigning the roles you intend group members to have, you can create new members and assign them to the group. For example, after creating the Zalco CEC Enterprise Users group and assigning the four key roles for enterprise level tasks, click Users in the side navigation to go to the Users page of Identity Cloud Service. Click Add, enter the name and email address, then click Finish. Once the user is added, click Groups in the side navigation. Open the group you want in this case, Zalco CEC Enterprise Users, and click the Users tab. Click Assign, then Find and select the user or users you want added to the group, and click OK. Added users receive an email with a temporary password which they must use to accept and change their password. Once they've done that, you can sync them with the Content and Experience Cloud instance. Once you've created and assigned a new user to a group, syncing them with the instance is done from the Content and Experience Cloud User Administration page. To start, click My Services in the side navigation and go to the Content and Experience console. Locate the instance you want, in this case Zalco, and select Access Content and Cloud Service Instance from the Instance menu to open the instance. Click Settings in the side navigation and select Users from the Settings page menu. Click Sync Profile Data, then click OK. That's it! Any users you've added or group dependencies you assigned are synced for use with this Content and Experience Cloud instance, and once users have accepted and changed their temporary password, they can log in. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit cloud.oracle.com/content.